The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show his servants things which shortly must come to pass. He sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from him which is, and which was, and which is to come, and from the seven spirits which are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amen. For I am the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. And I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet, saying, I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. What thou seest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pergamos, unto Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paths with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in a furnace. And his voice is the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword. And his countenance was as the sun shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead, and he laid his right hand upon me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. Behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the thing that thou, things which are, and the things that which shall be after. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and thou canst not bear them which are evil, and hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and found them liars. And hast borne his patience, and for my name's sake has labored, and hast fainted. Nevertheless, I am somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. I remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and I'll remove thy candlestick out of its place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. And unto the angel of the church of Smyrna write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead and is alive. I know thy works, thy tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich. I know the blasphemy of them which say that they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear not the things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life.
He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. And to the angel of the church of Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath a sharp sword with two edges. I know thy works, where thou dwellest, even where Satan seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith. Even in those days where Antipas was my favorite martyr, was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou there are them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cause the stomach block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which things I hate. Repent, or else I'll come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and the stone a new name written, which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. Unto the angel of a church of Thyatira write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet that like fine brass. I know thy works, and thy charity, and thy service, and thy faith, and thy patience, and thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, who calleth herself a prophetess, to teach it seduced by service to commit fornication, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death, and all the children, all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the rain and heart. And I'll give unto every one of you according to your works. But unto you I say, unto the rest of Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and have not known the depths of Satan, as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast to I can. And he that overcometh, and keep my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall that be broken to shivers, even as I have received my father. And I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. <clears throat> and unto the angel of the church of Sardis, right? These six saith he that hath the seven spirits of God, and seven stars, I know thy works, and thou hast a name, and thou livest, and art dead. Be watchful, and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die, for I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard no fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I'll come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I call upon thee. Thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the shame shall be clothed in white raiment, and will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I'll confess his name before my father, before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear with the Spirit, saith unto the churches. And, the, and, and unto the angel of the church of Philadelphia, right? These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. And I know that works, behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold thou fast which thou hast, that, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh, when I make a pillar of the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I'll write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven for my God. And I write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans, right? These things saith the Amen, the faithful and true witness, and the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would that thou were cold or hot, so then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, 
I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich, I have increased with goods, I have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed. And that the shame of thy nakedness doth not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eyes self that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him, and he with me. To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me at my throne, even as I overcame and have sat down with my father in his throne. But he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith to the churches. After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was, as it were, a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit to behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, and a sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment, and they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightning, thunderings, and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne, and round about the throne, were four beasts full of eyes before me. Right. The first beast was like a lion, the second beast like a calf. The third beast had the face of a man, and the fourth beast like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they're full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was, and is, and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four twenty elders fell down before him that sat on the throne, and worship him that live forever and ever. They cast the crowds before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and blessing. Thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure there are and were created. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written, and on the back side sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, saying, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor on the earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book uh, to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open it to read the book. And I had to look thereon. One of the elders saith to me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and the four beasts in the midst of the elders, so the lamb is had but slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God set forth upon the earth. And he came and took the book out of my right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts, four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them hops, golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book, and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain. And hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongues of people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, who shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, the beasts of the elders, a number that was ten thousand types of thousands and thousands of thousands, saying with loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength, honor and glory and blessing, and every creature which is in heaven, on the earth, and under the earth. And such as are in the sea, and all that are in them, heard I saying, Blessing, and honor, and glory, and power, be unto him that sitteth upon the throne, and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four twenty elders fell down, and worshipped him that lived forever and ever. 